Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi MashaAllah, very beautiful afternoon, especially thank you for everybody coming on a Sunday afternoon like this. You know, I would uh, conclude with a prayer, with a very small talk. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Khuliqa al-insana da'ifa, that I have created the man on a very, as a very weak individual. And we look in our lives that how weak we are. Look at the baby of a cow. As soon as he is born, he is ready to walk. Baby of a horse, it can do anything. A small organism like virus can take a life of six feet tall man in a matter of weeks. And little organism can make such a, a catastrophic effect on our lives. So indeed we are weak. On the other side, we know that God has made us the representatives of this, his representatives on the world. So what is it that gives us that extra strength? That extra strength is instilled in the ears of all babies when they are born. In Islam, we say the adhan, we say the call of the prayers in the adhan, the words of God in the ears of the baby that have multiple purposes. One of the major purposes which is known to everybody that it is a call for the prayer. Five times a day it's said to call people for the prayer. That's one purpose. There is another purpose that gives the message, underlying message that your real strength is not how you look. Your real strength is not how heavy built you are. Your real strength is not how deep pockets you have. Your real strength is based on how much knowledgeable you are and how much just you are. So knowledge and justice is the message of the Adhan that is given in the ears of every baby. And that is the need of the baby. That is not, not the need of any religion. Because when you're a baby, you're not obliged to follow any religion. You are not obliged to follow Christianity, Judaism, Islam, no religion at all. You're just a baby who just came. But you need that strength. You need the strength so that you don't get intimidated by different politicians. You don't get intimidated by different powers and authorities. You don't get intimidated and by different people's money and you don't by their people's status. So the Adhan says, Allahu Akbar, that when you say that God is the greatest, He is all powerful, then the powers of everybody else is lowered. When you say Allahu Akbar, when He is the greatest, then what happens is that the authorities of everybody else is lowered. Deep pockets of everybody, money of everybody is lowered because you put your needles in front of the God and say, you are the greatest and you are the one who's going to conclude everything and who's going to make everything better. It gives you that special courage and then you say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, that I have none worthy of worship except for you and I have none worthy of love except for you. Our love is for Allah, our love is for Him, and also Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah and the mercy to the mankind which is Muhammad Rasulullah, his messenger who, was, who came only to complete the message of Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and he came with the final message of God. And with the salutations on him and putting our trust on God so that we can gain that courage, we can get, get that justice inside of our heart so that because we live in a country which is based on ideology. There is different countries that they, they are based on being a country for a specific race or a specific color or but this is a country which is based on an ideology of bravery a courage so that you don't get intimidated by anybody and you put your trust in god and you and this is the country of justice so this is the message that is first instilled in islam in the newborn babies because this is the time he is going to have all the responsibilities on the shoulder so with the same trust in god we ask our prayers and the muslim way of making the prayers is such we put our hands like this, that oh, we are just beggars in front of the God. So we're going to say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin in Nabi Lummi wa alayhi wa sallam wa sallam taslima. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi akhirati hasana wa khina adabana. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, forgive our sins and the shortcomings. Ya Allah, accept our good deeds and the things that we have done to make this world a better place. O oh Allah, protect us from all calamities. Ya Allah, protect us from any types of hardships. Allahumma hafadna min kulli balai dunya wa adha bil akhara. Ya Allah, help us unite as one nation. Your Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa he came and he united everybody and he gave the light of peace and justice and love. Ya Allah, we ask you for the same love. We ask you for the same peace. We ask you for the same equality where colors are all equal. We, we look in the, just like you, his message was to look at the hearts so that we can make our 
as justice based on the hearts of the people, not at how they look and how much they carry. So may Allah give, show us the right path. And Allah, unite us in this umbrella of this country, of the United States of America. Ya Allah, this is the country based on justice and courage. Ya Allah, make us courageous so that this country rises as a courageous country. This country rises as a, as a message of justice to the whole world. Ya Allah, we ask you the, for the prosperity of the people of this country and this country and all the world, all, all, all where they are humiliated or they are overpowered. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, help the poor and Ya Allah, help the ones who are, who are lack the justice. And Ya Allah, give us blessed blessings in this gathering in which they have gathered with a special cause in which uh, this is a very special day for our black communities so that Ya Allah, they, are, they rose from, uh, they have seen the dark ages, Ya Allah, we make dua, we make prayer for them, they don't see those days again. Ya Allah, we special, we always stay united, so there's, those days are never back, and never to be seen by any community, what the, whatever they are. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, give them special dignity and respect that as you have given them, and never return them to the old days, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we ask prosperity, and we, need, we ask respect and grace for all the communities, all the minorities, all over the world, especially in this country. Ya Allah, accept our duas with the blessings of رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين برحمتك يا رحمه الله ITV Call of Peace Save Humanity